Whatever the miss you may have heard about the short game's overriding importance over all other aspects of golf, increased driver distance is critical to improving your scores. In short, without getting more distance off the tee, there will be a ceiling to how much you can improve. While acknowledging that every golfer and every swing is of course different, and is unique to them as their own voices, when it comes to driver distance, certain general principles apply. And with these in mind, in this video we run through five top tips to help you hit the ball further off the tee and maximise your distance. Welcome back to the Golfing Focus channel everybody, and when it comes to driver distance, it in short stems from a golfer's ability to translate club head speed, often also referred to as swing speed, into ball speed. And while ball speed is the biggest factor in how far a golf ball actually carries, Club stroke swing speed is the key factor for determining a golfer's potential driving distance. To get more distance off the tee, therefore, one of the best things you can do is increase your driver club head speed. An average club head speed of around 114 miles an hour, for example, delivers an average total driving distance of just under 300 yards on the PGA Tour, while the average male amateur manages a distance of only 219 yards approximately with his much lower average driver swing speed of 93.4 miles an hour. And how could you go about increasing your club head speed to increase your driver distance? Here are three top tips you can try. Number one, increase the speed of your backswing. As a general rule, a faster backswing results in a bigger hip and shoulder turn, which then helps to lengthen the swing and gives golfers more time to generate more speed in their downswing. Number two, practice harder practice swings. To be able to increase your swing speed, you need to practice. So a simple way to start is to practice moving the club faster in your practice swings. And number three, speed train. As every golfer knows all too well, golf is about practice. And when it comes to getting more club head speed, it's no different. And you can practice increasing it by following specialist training programs or hitting the gym. While it is all very well, however, for us to say you need to generate more driver swing speed to increase your driver distances, for many golfers it is not an option because of time and often physical constraints. So if you are in that category and still want to make the golf ball go further off the tee, another way you can do it with the exact same club stroke swing speed as you have currently is simply by improving the consistency with which you strike the golf ball. To highlight how poorly the average amateur typically strikes the ball, Jacob Bowden, one of the leading experts in swing speed training, points to the following data. The average driver club head speed in the PGA Tour hovers around the 114 miles an hour mark, and with that they post an average drive of around 296 yards, which gives them a driving efficiency close to 2.6 yards per one mile an hour of swing speed. The average male amateur golfer with a handicap of between 14 and 15 meanwhile post a driving efficiency of only 2.34 yards per miles an hour, based on their average drive of around 219 yards with a driver club head speed of 93.4 miles an hour. By striking the ball badly with glancing blows, creating slices and hooks, amateurs lose lots of energy at impact when swing speed gets converted into ball speed and as a result lose distance. Striking the ball more consistently than you do currently will therefore help you increase your driving distance, irrespective of your driver swing speed. And if you are one of those average amateurs, you can turn that 219 yard drive into a 242 yard drive, simply by striking your drives better. Another way you can try and get more distance off the tee without swinging faster is to make sure you are hitting up on the ball. As PGA teaching professional and US Golf TV director of instruction Todd Kolb states, we know without a doubt that in order to maximise distance when hitting the driver, based on whatever your club head speed is, that you want to hit up on the driver. And what this means in practice is that large number of amateurs are not hitting the ball further off the tee because they are losing power by hitting down in the ball and creating a negative attack angle at impact. As Kolb explains, when you come in contact with the golf ball and the club is travelling in an upward motion toward the ball, what that does is to increase launch, which is a good thing, and it decreases spin. You may have already heard the phrase, launch it high and spin it low, when it comes to trying to maximise driver distance, and this is exactly what hitting up in the ball as opposed to down 
lets you do to make your drives go further. So if you want to make your drives go further, make sure you're hitting up in the ball. And according to Kolb, a great way to start, if you're not already doing this, is to check your ball position at address with your driver. Chances are you'll have the ball too far back in your stance, and by moving it forward, probably more than you think you should or feel comfortable with, you'll be more likely to hit up on the ball with your driver and as a, as a result get more distance. When your goal is to get more distance off the tee, one of the keys, as we have just noted, is to hit it up on the ball with a positive attack angle. According to Trackman, an average male golfer with a driver club head speed of 95 miles an hour who hits their drive with a positive plus 7 degree attack angle will reach a carry and total distance off the tee in excess of 30 yards further compared to a player with the same swing speed but who tacks the ball with a negative minus 7 degree attack angle. And a great way you can try to achieve this is to use your shoulders when you set up to hit your drives. At the same time as moving the ball forward in line with the instep of your lead foot, your left foot if you're a right-handed golfer, tilt your shoulders back and away from the direction in which you're hitting the ball so that your lead shoulder, left again for a right-hander, is higher than your trail shoulder. A great demonstration of how this should be done is shown in this image of Rory McIlroy, standing ready to hit his driver, and in this example, from his interview with me and my golf alongside Golfworks, he demonstrates both the ideal starting position of tilted shoulders and the ball set forward in his stance. This setup helps golfers to have a proper swing path so that the driver is launching the ball up at impact and although it is likely to look and feel odd when you try it at first, if you can get it right it will help you get more distance. When it comes to making your drives go further, you may already have heard of the phrase tee it high and let it fly. And the simple reason for that is teeing the ball higher when you hit your driver is a well-known way of helping golfers increase their distances off the tee especially if they, like a large number of regular golfers, hit their drives with a negative attack angle and strike the ball in the lower portion of the face. In a recent robot test conducted by Golf Magazine's Jonathan Wall, golf technology expert Gene Parenti and TruSpec's master fitting professional Chris McCormick discovered that such golfers could potentially gain 25 yards simply by raising the tee. Adjusting the tee height for such players as this graphic illustrates, could help them get more driving distance as it would result in the impact location of their drives, moving from the lower half to the upper half of the driver face. Now all golf swings are of course unique, and for some simply teeing it higher will not be an automatic fix, as when they start teeing it higher and still come with a negative angle of attack, then they can start delivering too much loft to impact, hit it off the top of the face and make bad contact. But when one thinks that the average male amateur golfer has a negative attack angle of minus 1.6 degrees and a driver swing speed of 93 miles an hour according to Trackman, it suggests that there are a very large number of golfers out there who would gain some serious distance benefits by experimenting with teeing the ball a bit higher. Rory McIlroy, arguably the best and most consistent driver in world golf over the last decade or so, certainly seems to think so. So that's it for our look at different ways for you to try and get more distance off the tee. As ever and most importantly, we hope you're enjoying your golf. And if you like this video, tap in one of those boxes on the screen and we'll see you over there in another one shortly.